those that follow our channel, you'll probably be aware that Colchester Machine Tool Solutions over uh, recent months have launched a new range of machines. In fact, it's probably longer than that now, Chris, isn't it? When did the Typhoon machine come out? Been out now not quite 12 months, so 10 months, let's say. OK, now they've had some great success with it and we're here today uh, at this particular company to actually speak to a user of the machine. But before we do that, Chris, just tell us a little bit about the Typhoon that they've got here and why you think they purchased this machine. Well, the Typhoon that uh, HSP products have got is a twin spindle machine. It's got a 65 millimetre bar capacity and it utilises a, a Y-axis. So it's, it's also bar fed. And I think the reason that they, they went for this particular model is that they've got some of our older Tornado machines, which are twin spindle, but the additional Y-axis gives them a bit more uh, scope, if you like, for some of the uh, more complex products. But also they've got some new designs in the pipeline where I think the Y-axis would be definitely needed for some of the small hole angular holes that they're going to need to drill. Uh, you think yourself this is going to be the first of many installations around your territory? Yeah, hopefully so. I mean, we're always optimistic as salespeople, but um, we've found that the people who've got the machines really like them. They're performing exceptionally well. Uh, this particular machine is a boxware machine, and most of the stuff that you're going to see in there is hexagon bar. So you've got to begin with mainly intermittent cutting, and the boxware gives the machine a little bit more, with the surface area contact being greater, it's slightly more rigid, I think, than a linear machine. So they're, they're really pleased with it, as you'll see and hopefully hear. And yeah, and, and they're building up a good reputation. Good stuff. OK, well, let's get inside and speak to Sean, see what they do and see what he thinks of the machine. So with respect to Chris, we've heard from him about how great these new machines are, yeah. um, these typhoons from Colchester Machine Tools. Let's hear it from a user, though. I'm really interested, Sean, in your opinion in this machine since you've had it. Oh, it's brilliant. Like, it's the name that you can trust. Do you know what I mean? Colchester, we've had them for years here, it's amazing. At the end of the day, you know what I mean, they're only up the road. If we need hands with anything, they will come down. You know what I mean? It's, it's an amazing machine. This is the obviously got a Y-axis on it now. Um, we've never had that before. And, and, and do, you get, do you get the benefit of that? Are you using it a lot? Oh, yeah. Well, we do use it quite a bit on some of our newer parts. Not as much as we should do really, you know what I mean, but we are still developing with a Y-axis into our products type of thing. Uh, you, you've been a Colchester user for a long time though, I mean in fact the one behind you is about a 2001, that was your first machine, oh, yeah. but since then you've had quite a few of their machines haven't you? Yes. Does, this, does this match them in terms of the reliability, because that's a key point? Yeah, it, to, be, to me it's more reliable, obviously as you are buying a new product, you are wanting a better product. You don't go out and buy a new product for it to be worse. Do you know what I mean? Like we have, we have tornadoes, we have the old Colchester behind us, but they are not on this level. And, and how many hours would this be running in a day, for example? So we normally come in at eight o'clock on a morning. By half nine, ten o'clock, it's normally cleaned down, prepped for the for the day. We'll stop it about half three in the afternoon, and then it'll run all night once we've done the tip changes, so on and so forth, and made sure it's ready to go. So, so you're making it earn its money then, really, aren't you? Basically, yeah. And, and how does the programming side affect you? I mean, you've got your, your Colchester uh, Tornadoes from before, but they don't have the Y-axis on. So is there much of a, a learning curve into that, being able to program for that extra axis? Well, so it does have an extra axis. You can transfer the programs over, but as it doesn't have the Y-axis in there, it will start alarming out. So it's very basic to change the programme from the old tornado that doesn't have the Y-axis to, to the new Typhoon. Um, and what about the parts that you're machining on here? Are they complicated or are they quite straightforward? Um, I mean, let's have a look at one, for example. Yeah, yeah. Talk us through it. So at the minute, we're running a check valve on here. Um, it's, a, it's a male thread, three-quarter BSP to an internal inch and sixteenths UNF thread. It's not very intricate, but we do do intricate parts on here. Um, at the minute we're just using it to its capability because at the end of the day we have so much production that we do need to get out. This is obviously why we've got this machine, it's becoming more beneficial for us. I mean as a business it sounds and looks like you've got a lot of work on, what do you actually do here at HSP? So we make hydraulic parts mainly for likes of your big earth movers, you know what I mean, your big name companies that do all these earth moving, ground working type of you know, machinery so on and so forth. And, and thousands and thousands of parts going out a week? I mean, I suppose it must be with, with these spindles turning the amount of hours that you've said. Yeah, it, it's, it's ridiculous. We, 
we tend to be working, you know, sometimes seven days a week. We're running on nights. We're, we're having to make that production because of the, the current, you know, stock that we're needing to build up, so on and so forth, for our, for our customers, basically. And, and yourself as an operator, is there anything on this control that you could tell us that makes life easy for you and that others that are engineers may be interested yeah. in? Well, these called Chester Tornadoes and Typhoons, they come equipped with a, a software called MGI Demo. Manual Guide, it's basically called. It's an amazing bit of software. The guys at Colchester are very well trained in it, and it just makes programming a hell of a lot easier. You can simulate the programs, you can make them there before you actually turn them. So, so give me, does that help you with um, making sure you don't have collisions and things like that? It absolutely does, yeah. I could write a program, make sure I've set the MGI you know, simulation demo there correctly with all the tooling. I can then run it through without actually moving the machine anywhere. So I know that, that is, it will flag up an error, it will flag up that something's going to go wrong. And will it optimise the toolpath for you as well? Will it tell you maybe a better way of doing things or will it illustrate and help you? Yeah, it does illustrate and it does help you. It, does, it will tell you that you know, this, this has gone wrong because you know, you've got a certain line there that it doesn't like to do. And it'll tell you that you're travelling in a certain direction completely wrong and it, it's, it helps you a hell of a lot. Uh one thing I'd also be interested in is tool wear. As a result of the, the new machine, slightly heavier, slightly faster, are you experiencing less tool wear because of the build of it and, and the new technology? Well, yeah, to be fair, yeah, we have had less, less tool wear. We have noticed considerably, but you've got to look at it in terms of this machine's obviously fresh, it's new, it's, it's serviced, you know, regular from Colchester, they do an amazing service there. We have, we have them talked up so that we know that the machine is cutting in line, you know, concentric, so on and so forth. Uh, one thing Chris said to me is that they couldn't afford to bring a machine into the market that they weren't 120% sure of. They'd done their research, their development, to make sure that they match the quality of their other products. Would you agree that they've achieved that? I think they've achieved it and more with this machine. I really do. It's an amazing, it's an amazing machine. And it's not just the machine, it's the service. Do you know what I mean? It, like I said, it's the name you can trust. At the end of the day, we know these guys. They're, they're, you can call them and they'll be there for you. But it is a very good machine and I think they have, they have raised the level.